Congratulations, you've chosen the perfect stack of flooring. And now it's time to install it. All stack are rigid core SPC flooring is engineered for quick and easy installation. Before you begin, please refer to the installation instructions carefully. Step out the SPC flooring is a floating floor that can be installed directly on top of the concrete and tiles. Approximately 10% more materials than the size of the room. Step got rigid core SBC floor and requires clean, dry, flat, and structurally sound subfloor. Self leveling treatment is highly recommended for a better effect and longer lifespan. Acclimate the flooring to the climate and humidity levels. All you need is utility knife to cut the floor. Other tools you will need including a rubber mallet, pull bar, tabbing block, spacers, tape measure, pencil, try scrap, and some safety items. When all is ready to go, it's time to install the floor. It's recommended to install the floors in the parallel direction to incoming sunlight, or you can choose to align the planks parallel to the longest wall. In general, there are two normal ways to arrange the standard planks, and in this video, we will demonstrate how to install wood inspired flooring. Keep an even load, you will need to measure a subfloor. In order to recreate the look of the natural wood and stone, mix planks from multiple boxes for authentic pattern variations. Now you need to leave 8 to 10 mm expansion space. Our flooring is equipped Uniding Click system. Begin installation working from left to right with the town side facing the wall. For the first row, we will use the entire plan. After first plank is in position, insert the tongue of the second plank into groove of the first plank. Repeat the process, and as you get closer to the end of the row, you will need to measure the space of the last plank. Cut the last plank of the row to size. You can use the pull bar and rubber mallet to work evenly along the length. Insert the long side tongue of this plank into the long side groove of your first plank at a slight angle. Slide it over to the short edge, then lower it into place. Use a tapping block along the length of the plank to properly engage the surrounding clicks. Repeat these steps to complete the remaining rows. When installed under the door frame, cut it to allow the plank to slide easily and place them. To lay the plank around the projections, measure the protruding object and mark the dimension on the plank. Cut the plank into the required dimension and break off the excess. Now it's time to remove any spacers between the floor and the wall. Made for an easier life, you can use mop and vacuum to clean the floor. Avoid using bleach and wax to maintain the flooring. Now the perfect stage is ready for you to live on. 